Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got some exciting news, so stay tuned. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them if Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? I am one year locked today, baby Oh, hell no Let's get it, you see that shape What? What the f- Yes, I am one year locked It's my lock anniversary, And I am so excited it's been a long journey for me, but I'm here. Stop it. Get some help. You know, you see that? All that fluffiness, man. You know, I probably got like maybe one or two twisters within this year. But I like the little grungy look, you know. I like it. Let it do what it do. But I am so excited and I wanted to come on here and share this with y'all. You know, I know the lock community They've been locked for 5, 10, 15, 20 years now. So I know what they're going through. I know how they feel. I finally gave it the time and patience after five tries, y'all. Five. I finally did it. It's fully locked. So let me start off on the decision I made to do it and finally stick with it, my methods on how I did it, and how it's been for this whole year. So, I decided to finally lock it, you know, cause I kept playing around with it, but you know, if you're a guy, you know, you know. You know, we get stuck with these barbers that we want to cut our hair and it's a little bro code type of thing that we got going on that we sit there and we only want to deal with that certain barber. So I was going to my barber shop, but then when the pandemic hit and all that, it's like it was hard to get in contact with them, you know? So I said later for it, I'm used to growing my hair, you know? I just don't like when it start touching my ears. But I decided to grow it. So first I started off with the sponge. If anybody know what the sponge is, it's like a little thing, look like something you could wash your car with, and you just go in circular motions. I started off with that, and you know, just letting it nod up a little bit, because I got a um, very fine hair. I, don't get me wrong, I don't know what the grade is. I don't know if it's 4C, 4B, 3A. I don't know none of that. All I know is my hair is like real fine, so it takes a long time to lock up. So I decided to crochet it. Now, I've been having crochet needles and stuff. If you decide to do it, be careful because you can break your hair off a lot. But I took my time with it and crocheted it. I believe I still have uh, 73 locks. Um, I got some in here that's joint together, you know, um, double head dragons was what they call it. But I like it. I decided not to separate it. Here go one right here. Here you can see it. And um, also, I got another one over here. I hear that one was easier to find. Double head dragon, baby. So I started crocheting them. I probably got like maybe 70 now, I'm not sure. But I decided to do that. And um, it took me about maybe two, three hours to do myself. Um, I wanted to do something where I don't have to keep going to a shop and having a loctician do my hair. I wanted to do it myself, so that's why I started off with the crochet method. And I am very addictive to washing my hair like all the time. So I wanted something that would be able to stay in wash because I would at least wash my hair about maybe two times a week or whatever, you know, if not more. 
because it's just addictive like cleaning your ears, you know. But um, I decided to do it that way. And it stayed, you know, it stayed in, you know, it's flourishing. I, you know, I got that little shake. I love shaking it, you know. It reminds me of the song uh, from Crime Mob, come in the club shaking your dreads, you know. Hey, bro. What? Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, that's the method I use to start my hair. And it stayed in, and you know, uh, May of this year, I did go um, get an inner lock done for my loctician. She always used to do my dress back in the day, but um, she a little bit too far now. And before anybody come at me about dreads, locks, I know the difference. It's whatever I want to call my own hair. So don't come at me in the comments about it. <laughs> Got it! <he>. Got it! <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how I did it, and that's how I got started. It's been a little long journey, but a short one. You know, you just expect for your hair to just flourish like no tomorrow once it's locked, you want it to be all the way down your back, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's taking its time. It has grown. I can see it has grown. Like, if I pull it down, it comes down to here about my ear now, where before it wasn't, you know. Um, so it, it has grown a lot. And I try my best to stay keeping my hands out of it. But, you know, sometimes it just don't work that way. And when you're doing it this method, I'm not going to lie to you. A lot you want to have to keep separating them and stuff because they will start intertwining with each other and want to marry each other. But if you like it like that, more power to you. Me, I didn't really want all my locks combining together, so I stay separating them, especially after I wash it. Um... But even sometimes I catch myself when I'm laying in bed, just pulling them apart, you know, to make sure they don't lock up together until they get that smooth cylinder, you know, maybe in another couple months or a year or whatever. I let it do what it do, you know. As long as I water it, you know, keep it hydrated, oil it down, it's going to do what it want to do. And I'm on a journey with it, and I'm learning a lot about patience and well, I can't even get that word, so we're not even going to go with that word. And I'm not taking it out this video because it's raw, uncut. I'm giving y'all the real me, and I hope y'all enjoy. But, yeah, so um, that's my one-year lock anniversary. Like I said, it has taught me a lot of patience and to care for my hair because usually, you know, I keep it short and it's not really too much to do and I will wash it every day every day I get in the shower I wash it you know and it never really bothered me but what I have noticed about my hair is that it itch a lot and that's where you'll get all the fuzzies from you know it don't stay together too much because I'm always scratching it everybody tell me oh get the back of a pick or something like that or a comb Nah, I got to get down and dirty with mine, so I'll be in that thing I like that, you know. But, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy my video. It's going to be a short one because, you know, I don't really do too much talking. Um, I'm learning a lot about YouTube. This is what I want to do. And hopefully y'all like the video. If y'all do, may y'all give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. I do shorts on here. I mean, I'm open to doing other things. I'm trying to get more into it, more in tune and camera friendly with y'all. Um, hopefully soon I'll be having a professional camera right now. I'm on my iPhone 11 shooting this. Um, 
yeah, I hope y'all grow with me. If not, I do appreciate, you know, any views I do get. I appreciate all my subscribers, you know, all 25 of y'all. Y'all the best. I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me this long. And I'm trying to stay consistent, you know. So y'all see more from me. I just hope y'all enjoy. And by the way, you know, I'm not selling y'all nothing. I don't need nothing. I just want to say, you know, if y'all can, drop a happy birthday in them comments. My birthday will be up October 17th. I am so excited. Hopefully, you know, I get to do something this year um, with all the pandemic and people in my city, they still not really moving like that. So if I do, I'm definitely going to record it. But yeah, my birthday is October 27. Oops, did I say 27? See, you know I'm much. And I got all hype. It's the 17th. So I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. Yeah, so... Yeah, throw a happy birthday in the comments for me, you know, and show me that, you know, you did see the video and you made it to the end. I love y'all. Peace. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them.